All right, so let's start with the new five stars. Uh, we'll start with Sam Heward. Uh, this is a guy, boy, really uh, controversial, I would say. Uh, the, the, basically, the people who have seen him in person love him. That would be me, you, uh, Gorney, and Rob Cassidy. Uh, so, Gorney, tell us first why, why you made the push for Sam and, and what he brings to the table. Yeah, honestly, we probably should have done this before. Conservative with five-star rankings for quarterbacks. I think as we go through this cycle, he's going to be in the conversation for the number one overall quarterback in the class. As everyone sees him, it's impossible not to really like him. He's uh, incredibly accurate, incredibly smart. And every time I've seen him on the circuit over the last few years and on film, he puts the ball right where it needs to be almost every single time. So there are some things I'm sure Mike is going to address that he doesn't like about him. But I think as he gets to see him more and more, I think one of the things that kind of we hesitated on was his size, but now he's much taller and filling out, um, and he's continued to be just the most accurate quarterback in this class. I think we probably should have made him a five again. He was great at the Las Vegas Pylon, one of the only events he did this offseason, and finally we pushed him to the five-star status where he probably should have been. Yeah, Mike, so, so you've been a Heward detractor, so tell us why you hesitated. We, kept, we went to a vote. I mean, there might have even been a split decision there we had to come down to. Well, if it was a split decision, then he wouldn't have been a five-star. <laughs> I, mean, I, well, I don't dislike him. You know, my, my, I have two concerns. The two overreaction, and, and that's the, the smooth lefty who's accurate. I mean, we got to remember that Left-handed quarterbacks don't have much success, uh, maybe at the college level, not at the pro level and beyond. And, and it's different reasons for that. You know, not only do you have to shift your offensive line a bit, but the spin is different. Um, you know, receivers don't like catching the ball from left-handers. Uh, they're not used to it. Uh, there's so few left-handed success stories out there that that just gives me pause and then the last couple of guys we've had that played the competition level like that in the state of Washington, Max Brown and Jacob Eason, didn't exactly light up the world. And I'm not holding that against Sam at all, because you can't. But level of competition is a concern of mine and, and the lefty factor there. I think he has a good arm, not a great arm. I think he has good touch. Uh, and this is all film evaluation um, and a good, good pocket presence. But he doesn't jump off the page to me as a five star. Uh, well, you know, I mentioned I saw him in person last year, and I was really impressed. My actually only reservation was perhaps the size issue, which we've we've de-emphasized. And then when you look at his dad and his uncle, of course, who both played there at Washington, they're much bigger than him. And and like Gorney said, he seems to be uh, kind of growing into that frame. And uh, I hopefully we get to see him play in the fall. Hopefully we get to see him in an all-star setting. But I have a feeling we're going to be uh, debating him going forward. 